Hi, right, everybody. Hello, D23! I know the question you're asking. What is that really cool shirt you're wearing? Huh? Thank you. This is, yes, the John Lasseter signature D23 shirt available here at the Disney store on the show floor only at D23 for $99. But who wants a free one right now? All right. Everybody needs one of these. All right, I'm going long. Oh, ricochet shot. It's amazing what's happening in animation of the Walt Disney Company. Two incredible studios. The Walt Disney Animation Studios. It is, it, I'm so proud of this place. It's built upon a legacy, an incredible legacy. A studio that Walt Disney himself started 92 years ago. We still are making animation. We've never closed our doors. That legacy drives us. Pixar Animation Studios, the, studi the studio of pioneers who invented much of computer animation. And we, you know, we're always pushing the boundaries of innovation at that place. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of both of these studios. They're full of the most talented people, artists, and the most wonderful filmmakers. We, we're so excited about the, the, the next film we have coming out. It is called Zootopia. <laughs> to tell you about Zootopia, I'd like to bring out the filmmakers of Zootopia. Ladies and gentlemen, the, di the director who directed Tangled and Bolt, Mr. Byron Howard, the director of Wreck-It Ralph, and from The Simpsons, Rich Moore, and the producer of Wreck-It Ralph and Bolt, Mr. Clark Spencer, the producer. Ladies and gentlemen. Judy Hopps is someone I think you all know from a great, great television show, Once Upon a Time, Jennifer Goodwin. Yes. Oh my goodness. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh, That's a lot of Disney fans. Yes. You are my people. <laughs> And you are one, too. Oh, You're I a member, am a right? D23 you, member. You got the card? I am not a Disney fan, though. I am a Disney addict. She's crazy, folks. A Disney maniac. She's crazy. Disney obsessive. We're all family here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about playing Judy Hopps? How do you feel about that? I think it's, a, it's that? a dream come true it's to play exciting, Judy Hopps. It? It's, true. It's, it's as exciting as it gets. She is a bunny from the Barros. Mm -hmm. She's on the outside of town. She moves to the big city of Zootopia to follow her dreams and become the first bunny cop with the Zootopia Police Department. Pretty That's pretty good. good. That's pretty good. I like your dreams. I like how you she dreams like big. She dreams That's pretty big. Uh, voicing the character of Gazelle um, in the film and singing an original song is an amazing person, somebody who we've had the great pleasure to get to know over the past couple of years. And she big, wanted big. to extend a special message to all of you. So ladies and gentlemen, Shakira. <laughs> of the new Disney movie, Zootopia, where I'm gonna play Gazelle. She plays this great character, Gazelle, which represents all of the ideals of Zootopia, that truly anyone can be anything. And her song, Try Everything, launches Hops into her journey into the city. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite fairy tales of all time, it doesn't really have a definitive version, is Jack and the Beanstalk. So I'm proud to announce that we are in production of our version of Jack and the Bee stock, and it is called Gigantic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the filmmaking team behind the new 
Gigantic, the director of Tangled, Nathan Grino, and the producer of Prep and Landing and our short film, Get a Horse, Dorothy McKim. Thanks, bud. If you make a movie that has gigantic comedy and gigantic action and gigantic emotion, you're gonna need gigantic music, right? And yeah. so, do we know anyone, Dorothy? Do we know anyone that can write gigantic hits? Any songwriters that can write gigantic hits? I think we do. And you all know them as well. You know them from Winnie the Pooh. It's the wonderful, we are so excited to be working alongside the songwriting team of Chris and Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. You know them from Frozen, and they are our songwriters writing on our film. And they're here! Hey, guys. Yeah, thank you. working with the best storytellers and animators in the whole world. And we were getting to the end of Frozen and thinking, oh, we're gonna have to say goodbye. And then this opportunity came up uh, to work with you guys and we jumped at the chance to stay in the family. Especially because yeah. Nathan directed Tangled, which is the movie that we love and that got us through the whole winter of 2011 with two our two young girls. girls. <laughs> it's a tough winter in Brooklyn. And so for this next film we're talking about, Moana. We were not only deeply inspired by the beautiful people, the rich music, and engaging stories of the South Pacific, but we were also deeply changed by them. I'm thrilled to bring out the filmmakers of Moana. These great filmmakers have done some of the most classic films for the Walt Disney Animation Studios. Films like The Little Mermaid and Aladdin. Ladies and gentlemen, the directors John Musker and Ron Clements and the producer of Moana, Osnot Schur. We're here with you at D23 to announce our musical team for the first time. Our team is made up of three members. The first is named Opataya Fua'i. Opataya is a musician from the South Pacific. He has a band called Tevaka that has won multiple World Music Awards, and they are huge, huge superstars in the South Pacific. Second on our team is Mark Mancina who uh, is a composer, many of you have heard of him. He's done so many Disney films. He did Con Air and Speed and the Plains movies. And of particular relevance to our movie, also The Lion King. And last but not least, Lin-Manuel Miranda, amazing songwriter. He's known for In the Heights, which he wrote and starred in, won a Tony and an Emmy, and for Hamilton, which opened on Broadway last week. And it's awesome. If you haven't seen it, go. It's a hip-hop version of the, the life of Alexander Hamilton, and it's fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please put your hands together and give a warm D23 Expo welcome to the voice of Maui, the man, the myth, the legend, Dwayne Johnson! What is up, D23 Expo? I am so excited to be with you here today uh, to talk a little bit about, about Maui and our incredible story of Moana. Um, but really quickly, before I do that, I just want to share something quickly with the room. I shared this with John Lasseter backstage. Is when I first got in this business, 
15 years ago, I've been a lucky guy. I've had a pretty good career over the years. I had a goal, and the goal was to be in the Disney family. The, yes. It's been nearly 10 years since Pixar has been part of the Disney family. For the first time in history, we have not one original Pixar animated feature film coming out this year, but two. And beyond those two films, we have the strongest slate of films we've ever had in our studio's history. Let's bring out Josh Cooley. Josh Cooley. Yeah, so when we were working That's Inside good. Out, working on the story, uh, Jonas, Pete, and I had this kind of connection because we all have daughters. In fact, a lot of uh, the people on our team do. And so our story meetings would, we'd start talking about our kids, and they would eventually become these like fathers of daughters support groups meetings. <laughs> and then someone said to me, that's nothing. Just wait until she's old enough to bring home the first boy. And if you were to zoom inside my head, my emotions were going insane. <laughs> and so that became the premise for the, for, for the Inside Out short film. Uh, it's called Riley's First Date. <laughs> Uh, we are really, really excited about the next film from Pixar. It's going to be released on November 25th this year, this Thanksgiving. The Good Dinosaur. And we have incredible filmmakers at the helm. The producer of Good Dinosaur is Denise Reem, who produced Cars 2 with me. And the director is Pete Sohn. Ladies and gentlemen, the filmmaking team. This is good. At Pixar, the one question that we keep getting asked most often is, will we do a sequel to Finding Nemo. And I am excited and honored to introduce to you the incredible filmmaking team of Finding Dory, one of my best friends, the director of Wally and the original Finding Nemo, Andrew Stanton, co-director Angus McLean, and producer Lindsay Collins. So our new film centers around Dory, and we couldn't be more excited to have the great Ellen DeGeneres back. exciting for me. I can't tell. Well, you do know how exciting it is. And I'm so proud of this film. It's so, it's, I, I can't wait for you to see it. We should introduce uh, oh. some of the co-stars. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. I got it. Lindsay, right. you read that I'm line. on it. First up is Hank the Octopus. He is voiced by Ed O'Neill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Star of TV's Modern Family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ed O'Neill. <laughs> What are we doing? Uh, I don't know. We're supposed to. That was. It, you know, we have not. We have not worked together, and, uh, and yet uh, you're hilarious in the film. Very, very funny. And had we worked together, we would have witty banter about stories and stuff. Let's make yes. up stories. Remember that time? Yes. When you. Oh my God. Oh my it God. Was so it was so funny. funny. Should have been there. Yeah. What do we do now? What do we do? So Bailey is voiced by Ty Burrell. Also from Modern Family. Ty Burrell, come on out, Ty Burrell. How are you? Good. Everybody. Hugs for everybody. 
And then there is Destiny. She's a very sweet but somewhat confused whale shark who thinks she's a whale even though she's actually a shark. Um, Destiny is voiced by the very funny Caitlin Olson from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Please welcome Caitlin Olson. Hi, I'm the director of Toy Story 4. Yes, I am returning. I'm so excited. I love, I love being chief creative officer and executive producing and working with all these, all these incredible, incredible filmmakers. But you know what? I, I love making movies and directing. So I'm coming back. I'm so excited. We wanted to add a, a new perspective and a fresh voice to the story. And we found this incredible screenwriting team. And you might recognize one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, bring out the screeners, Will McCormick and Rashida Jones. This year, besides having Inside Out and Good Dinosaur coming out, marks the 20th anniversary of the original Toy Story. The film that, the film that started it all. I'm sorry to make a lot of you feel old all of a sudden. 